Hi then, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bloodborne. I'm not quite as depressed as I was last time, considering how downtrodden I felt after playing this game for so long. <laughs> Never mind the imagery I was being subjected to. So let's get back to wherever the hell we were and hope we can... I don't know, not get screwed by the Blood Moon. Bloody cape physics. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of really hard to take it seriously when that happens bloody regularly. Now, if memory serves, I got one shot killed by a mountain of bones in a box. So, speaking of which, he just popped in to say hello there. We can completely ignore that and we won't even draw... It, no, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I'm lying to you. April Fool's. Well, I hope this doesn't bloody blow back in my face. Just got away with that one. Did you lose interest? I was the closest to you I've ever been. Eeeen! And then all of a sudden you just stop caring. What is wrong with you? Now let's not do what I did last time and underestimate you by being one shot out of nowhere. That was clever. We could have gotten a free hit there, but we fucked it up. Oh, if this isn't the boss, I don't know what is. I don't even know where my echoes are either. I guess I lost them somewhere. There's no way a, a, a bloody area this big and open isn't going to have a exactly one of those happen. For Christ's sake. Oh, I dread to think what's going to happen. We've got the Blood Moon, which has made everything harder, which has distorted the very fucking landscape of this world. Bellmaiden? You summon PvPers. So when there's lots of you ringing them... Do I dare even ask what the hell it is you're going to be summoning? Oh, alright then. Total Eclipse. Is that it's a gigantic abomination of bodies, bones, and guts? The one reborn. What the hell are they buffing him? They seem to be. Is there a way for me to get up to them? All right then. Thought I was out of range of that. Guess not. They're definitely healing him or some shit. Okay, I'm not already dead. You know, no, my health's completely fine. Surely there's a way to get up to them to stop them doing whatever the hell they're doing. But I'm seeing no stairs, so I guess I'll just uh, go right up to you. That won't end horribly for me with your little kicky feet. <laughs> he has little kicky feet. <laughs> what is this? Jesus! The amount of shit being lobbed at me! What the hell? So as soon as I started attacking, I've got fireballs to deal with? Are you kidding me with this? How is this fair or manageable? Maybe I could chop his tail off. And by his tail, I mean his... amalgamation of bones, bodies, guts, blood and bollocks. God knows what the hell I'm supposed to be looking at with this. Purple stuff doesn't seem to be healing him. However, they are not helping me. What the hell? Oh, I get the thing I could have reposted him, but I missed my opportunity. Wait. No, missed again. All right, then. Make the most of it. Stop firing me! It's just obnoxious. It doesn't deal all the damage. It's just fucking annoying and meant to bloody... It's really obnoxious, to be perfectly honest with you. It'd be nice if the fireballs hit him and hurt him. But that's a pipe dream, isn't it? The one reborn. I didn't know Neo went from being a blindfolded bitch to this giant abomination. All right, you know what? Screw you. Suck on it. Not that that did a whole bunch to you, but let's just keep doing it. Because you don't seem to be able to react to me wherever I am with regards to you. Did you just turn yourself like inside out and around and about? What the? Alright then. Didn't really know what was happening there. What's he doing? He's got like a ball of hatred in his hands. Really don't know what the hell's going on. If I hand. If I. Uh, ow! Stop! Gee! Pack it in with a fucking fire! There are like two sides to this. He's essentially a coin of an enemy. Heads and tails are both completely unique of the other. Fuck off, you're going to die. Don't even care. Yellow backbone. Woo! Where did the bell bitches go? They were the ones I wanted to kill. Fire throwing assholes. 
seriously. There's a lot of shit that just aggravates me a bit. Consistently having fire being lobbed at me. Over and over again. There was there was a way to get up here. There was a way. <sighs> okay, I'm an idiot. I didn't even think to check the entire halls. I was just looking around and at first glance, oh, there's nothing. Clearly, I was wrong. Unless, of course, those stairs were blocked by a missed gate while I was battling him, which may have been a thing, but... Looking at it, I was likely able to get up and solve the problem that was pissing me off so much. Oh well. It looks like that boss just went from being a goddamn Matrix joke to a Zelda one as he went from being the reborn to the re-dead. Uh... This, 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 this adds... This, <laughs> this adds a whole extra 11% damage to my weapon. <laughs> Okay, we're just a little bit overpowered. <laughs> just a bit. Okay, the Kin Cold Blood doesn't have any alternate uses. I was expecting it to be something to do with summoning or weapons, but whoa. 20,000 from that. That's more than an echo. That's a Grand Canyon Wily e. Coyote Fallen Scream Reverb Echo. Jesus. Yes, that was, a, that, was a, that, was, that was an actual joke on the word echo. Are you a speakable nice person? I'm seeing a lot of blue lights. Or, well, actually, they're just reflections off of things, never mind. You do seem to have the blue light, though. No, he's still got a cage on his head. Inspect mummy. Oh, it's a teleporting thing. Of course it is. What? <laughs> What's that? Dead guy in a chair with a cage on his head? Inspect him? It's a teleportation device. How else would it work? Lecture building? Why are multiple places taking me to this university? All roads seem to lead back here. Now I'm on the second floor. All right then. This is just weird how everything seems to lead back here. The giant eldritch abomination that grabbed me and crushed me and frenzied me threw me here. The mummy in a chair after an abomination falling out of the sky led me here. And this place, Jesus Christ, you okay there? Did you miss your cue the first time? That's sneaky as fuck. I was expecting you to be above the item. N nice one. As I was about to say, and then this place leads me to the PvP Nightmare Frontier. I don't know what to expect, really, to be perfectly honest with you. This is a very weird world with a very grim tale. Everyone's dead and is ending up being turned into these things. I mean... People in their homes, twisted and contorted into lichens and worse. These things turned into gelatinous Casper the Friendly ghost torsos with fucking Phantom of the Lecture mask faces. These were all once people. It isn't as if this is just a creature from the abyss crawling out of the darkness to kill me. This is a once air-breathing meat-eating thing. <gasps> Final chunk acquired. I do think that I love this place now. Never mind any complaints I had about it being just filled to the brim with melting people from the waist down. I actually quite like it now. From this point on, I'm just checking... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just checking the ceilings. He's bent over backwards doing the Bray Wyatt crab walk upside down, so technically he's the right side up right now. What is this place and what are these beings? <laughs> Once proud students likely of the arcane profession turned into arcane puddles. Lovely. Kinda seems like it would be a Where the fuck were you and how the Christ did I miss you? You're a whore. Alright then. You? You look just like the gravekeeper guy. Only you're fucking massive for some reason. Why are you here? And again? How the fuck did I miss you? You're huge! The Nameless Moon Presence beckoned by Lawrence and his associate, Pale Blood. <gasps> Alright then. Three third chords. Huh? I, um, I, I found one of these earlier. This comes to mind. Third chord. Open door to outside. Yet, yeah, I think I'll be going and finding this shortcut likely to the downstairs before I do that. Thank you very much. Assuming, you know, something doesn't descend from the ceiling and. Kill. 
me. Remember when I said that that guy at the door didn't seem to have the right proportions? Yeah. Think I was right about that one, you know? Okay, let's not talk to him! Fucking hell, that scared me! Are you gonna talk? <laughs> oh, this cannot be. You cannot be. How did this come to pass? Okay, that little seriously, like, let's speak to him, and he just breaks everything in the. <laughs> now, wait just a moment. Do you think he'll have me? Me? He's still human. He's still speaking. So, actually. Indeed, I should think not. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you witness to a miracle, and all the stronger for it. You should appreciate it if you've a grain of gratitude in you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> no matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Oh, d doubt me not, sweet compeer. What is friendship but a chance encounter? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not creeped out by spiders. I'm not. Yeah, they're a little bit crawly, a little bit creepy. One goes on you, doesn't feel all too good. And in games, yeah, they're a little bit unsettling, but I don't really give a shit. But a fucking human head put on the front of one of them? Jesus Christ! Well then, I can safely say that this game is just pushing my limits. Not usually creeped out or scared by shit, but that guy just violently moving when I went to talk to him. Yeah, that, that about did it. As I said the first time I saw him, his proportions didn't look right. Never mind the fact that, oh, whatever. Whatever. It were done. We're moving on. That's some scary shit. Please don't drop me into a boss area. Nightmare of Mensis. And there's no lamp. And I have no form of healing. Well, good news, everyone. <laughs> are these skulls in... Of course they are. Of course they are. It's called a nightmare after all. What were you expecting? Sunshines and hugs? I just wanted to open the door, go th go through it, find a lamp, teleport back, and then buy some blood vials. And instead, here I am, roaming the... Nightmare with a clock tower. Ooh. And a rather fucking swiftly moving sky. Ah, <sighs> sneaking up... On what I assume to be the same albino lichen abomination that I found earlier. Yep. Thanks for the extra echoes, my boy. Thank you for keeping your back firmly turned to me. That makes no sense, firmly turned. Almost 3,000 echoes for that. That's pretty damn good. Really would have liked it if he dropped some blood vials. <laughs> Cause not only do I have none, I'm on like near to no health. I've got- Whoa! You sneaky little shit! Oh, not many of you I've walked past if you're that bloody sneaky. Oh, I love you three of them?! Jesus, I don't even need that many anymore. I've got as many as I need, but future weapon discoveries, I'm gonna, gonna be grateful for that. Even more! Whoa. Whoa. What the... What the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the sunny hell was that? I'm getting shot by... something. I don't know what. Oh, oh whatever, I found a lamp. <laughs> the glow from the lamp I thought was an enemy. Bloody hell, how unsettled I was. I don't like this place. I don't like it at all. I don't. I don't trust any of the people that I've supposedly saved. You're ill, dying, or transforming. She pissed off when the blood moon and everybody was transforming, and you're chitter shattering to yourself in the corner. And oh look, now I have more insight. I can indeed see that this man is here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that heartwarming? Don't ask me why, but I just wanted to come back here and kill this man. Why turn your blade on me? Because I don't trust anyone. Especially hunters. Regret this. I hope you're right. Honestly, I don't give a goddamn. That's what I wanted. Oh, the old girl. She's dead. Killed. Stunned dead. 
Why, must have been a beast, right? What do you mean the old woman's dead? I was just here. How's the old woman dead? She isn't dead. She was here a moment ago. What do you mean the old woman's dead? Or do you mean her? No, she's still alive. Painfully alive. The old woman isn't dead. There's a note saying she'll come back, which was left there before, and then she came back. Five seconds ago I was speaking to her. What the hell do you mean she's dead? Is that is it the light up there that's doing it to me? Oh! Why? What did I do to you? Well, I mistimed that roll. I can't ever notice he was being hit by the same things that were hitting me. I really don't know where those things are coming from. And I really don't know how I just... Mi okay then. He can breathe fire. You are living and learning at this point. Although the living is actually not true as you're dying and learning, but... Uh, they breathe fire. Alright, well they don't literally breathe fire, but they're able to... I don't know, they have pure methane breath as they just make a flamethrower by breathing over their torches? Okay. I mean, it was my fault because, you know, I, 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 I did the attack too far away and what the hell is hitting me? What the hell is hitting me with these bloody frenzy shards? You can't hit me through that. Get over here. Good boy. Now piss off and give me my- What the fuck? What the- A wormy, snaky thing just jumped out of him! Scared the fuck out of me! Oh my Jesus Christ. I'm getting sick of this. I'm not in the mood for this. I didn't come here for this. This isn't fucking funny anymore. Stop it. Who the bloody hell are you? Oh, and then you're not attacking me. You, you actually still weren't that entire time. You might actually have been friendly. <laughs> you're not, obviously. But my point is, for a very long time, you weren't even attempting to hit me. That's kind of you. What is your face? What? What is... That's sad. I'm getting depressed again. I don't know why. Between being freaked the fuck out by those goddamn worms jumping out of things, and just generally being depressed about not being able to save everyone, this land is just getting sad and vicious. What the fuck? Did the ground just explode and hurt me? Okay, what? Oh, he's throwing them. I thought the ground just erupted and hurt me. There was one there. There was one there. I didn't see that one. So we have weird yeti looking motherfuckers where their head is part of their torso, their faces just look sad, and they tear the earth up and throw it at me, and it explodes and annihilates me. Oh, chunk! Thank you so much. It's hilarious that you were guarding a chunk when you are throwing chunks at me. And if I was as disgusted with you as I was with the worms, I'd be blowing chunks! That was no way near me. I got freaked out and worried for nothing. Really wish that he'd hit you when they were friendly fire. Nice shot. Okay, then. That freaked the camera out, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. That was risky, wasn't it? Pretty sure we're not going to get a shortcut back to the old thing, seeing as we're going in a completely different direction. <laughs> That's a pretty big spider. Doesn't have a human head, though, so I'm fine with it. What the hell? Okay, is that a boss? I mean, it's pretty big. There's, there's a good potential for it being a- Oh, hey, hello. I don't have to bother with you. Never- Holy shit, he's quick. <laughs> Holy shit, he's quick. Okay, how much can I kill- Well, okay, they're pretty quick. His legs are huge and just stabbed through the wall, and there you go, there's a damage counter. Really not that bad. Nothing to really worry about. And quicksilver bullets from... Spiders. Uh! That scared me. <laughs> what the hell? Just gonna keep on walking. Is that a hunter on the horizon? Looks like it. We're about to have a duel, aren't we? Unless you're friendly, which you aren't, because I can lock onto you and you're running toward me and trying to kill me. You? Okay, one holy shit, two holy shit, and three, I think you have a rapier. Will you stop that, please? What the fuck? He's just walking toward me, spraying it. Piss off. Go on, do the little spray thing again. Or what? You have the same weapon as me, I just realized. That's not a rapier. 
<laughs> Whoops. Because he was doing a stabbing attack, it looked like thin and sedatives. I guess these hunters went mad. Is that the story that all the other hunters went mad? Or went rogue renegade in search of higher blood and power? That moon should not be that close. We should be having tsunamis if the moon is that close. You look small and stumpy. And you don't die all too easy. What the hell? Are these children? Are they... I don't know what they are. What are these things? Why are these things? Yeah, it's just getting to that point where everything is just slightly unsettling. Spiders dropping from rooftops. Oh, thank you. And uh, among other things, just generally dickish everythings. This is a shortcut. This is a shortcut. No, it isn't. I'm going down. Oh, it's a brand new lamp. Oh. <laughs> oh, happy days. A brand new lamp just for me. Well, what the hell? Operate device? Not currently operable? I wonder what that does. Bridge, maybe? Possibly. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Where am I? I mean, I'm at Oh, God! Goodbye. You I wanted you to fall off. Oh, God. That was risky. Hey! <laughs> Suck it. There's a light behind me? Okay, it is that that's doing it to me. There's somebody up there just firing me with frenzy. I mean, I noticed it the first time, but I, I, I didn't believe it because it's just like, well, I couldn't see anything being shot or fired. Now I can most certainly see it, and I missed again. Oh, he's being hit by frenzy. Whoa. Well, his health just plummeted, and look, you can see him being stuck with the things. I, more items from fallen enemies. All right then, me's thinking I should be using that one. Pretty much that's the stuff I always used to use when I was PvEing on Dark Souls. More souls and more item discovery. And that's pretty much what I've got now. Ow! 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 Holy fuck! Who is up there doing that to me? I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I was just up there. I was just crossed that bridge. How do I get to that? I'm gonna kill you. He's gonna be a hunter. He's gonna be a prick. And he's gonna end up killing me. I'm gonna upgrade this, we're gonna see what this thing can do! I only upgraded it once, and it now has B scaling on strength. It now, it now has A scaling! Holy knobs! This thing's gonna do quite a lot of goddamn damage! I'm gonna use this for a little bit, on and off. This is interesting. Although I've suddenly realised how long I've been recording and how much I've actually gotten done, so actually... That's where I'm gonna be cutting off this episode. With a giant wheel for a weapon. As always with this Bloodborne content, I'm going to have to recommend that you go and watch True Talent streams because he covers it a lot more in a day than I do, and he's doing PvP earlier than me because I'm going to finish the game and then get to it, I think? Or maybe I'm lying. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this and do you want to see more of it, and if you did, then please do like the video to let me know, and assuming that you do, even though this is a similar pun to the Binding of Isaac ending, I think it's safe to say with the weapon that I just found that I may just be able to be on quite a roll by the end of this. And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching all the way through to the end. If you enjoyed this and want to see more of it, feel free to subscribe. And knowing YouTube, you may want to follow me on social media so you can actually keep up to date because the subboxes are broken, whereas they are not. If you enjoy outtake content, then feel free to subscribe to my other channel. And if you appreciate the live stuff, then you may want to go over to my Twitch as well. So again, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. And assuming that you do indeed want to see more of this, then I will see you in the next video.